way parents know the time is by looking at a clock. So we set all the clocks back a little bit at a time until they're six hours off. When it's 2 a.m., my parents will think it's still 8 p.m. And that's still an hour before bedtime. Yeah, let's go to the amusement park. Yeah, it'll be so much fun. Okay. Hey, girl. <gasps> Permission accomplished. Yeah, cool. Uh-oh. Dad's wristwatch, he never takes that thing off. Except... Honey! Yes, Honey Pie? Remember how you promised that you would do the dishes more often? Kumquat Bunny Boo? I remember. Kumquat Bunny Boo? Thanks, Lola, <laughs> that was awesome. Don't mention it. Huh? Oh, honey, what a nice surprise. You did the dishes. But didn't you ask? Mm. Yaps ahoy! <gasps> sure, you set the clocks backwards, right? I calibrated in 15 minute increments and. Wait, backwards? Not forwards? What did you do? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> What's going on? Every clock in this house has a different time. Uh, must be a power surge. Electricity is so complicated. Actually, erratic surges are coming at this latitude. Oh, now I have to reset all the clocks. What is the real time? Hunter, you promised you'd pick me up two hours ago. 9.15? <gasps> Past your bedtime, boys. Uh, sure, Mom. Don't worry, time for the backup strategy. Operation Bunny Slippers. They cut down on the squeaky floor factor. Oh, I forgot to reset this one. I think I heard something in the hall. Oh, it's probably just a cat. <laughs> 